buat And this is the easy part. The printing. So, same screen, third stencil. Now let me show you what you're looking at. And you never remove the screen from the screen frame or holder. Right now I'm pushing water through the screen where it's open to the other side. See that it's coming from the top side of the stencil, like in this area here. Color. <laughs> right here. I'm calling it burnt umber. It's not necessarily. Two. And this green is three. Each one of these colors has been stippled with two or three different colors. And you can see the variations of the green and the very subtle variations in the red. And I'm gonna be doing the same these color as well. Vegans 
on the planet, it seems, sometimes. Exactly what that should look like. Printed last olive. Printed. This is what we're printing, which is basically a tinted, which means whiter version of that. That's why it looks like kind of gray. It looks very gray. It is, but it's a green base. like that. Mm -hmm. You see the green down in here? And the green, all the speckles all over. See the dark gray here? And the light? And the light gray? Color eight. 
sap green tent. Color nine. Number 10, burnt umber tent.
See where the green's coming through in the background? See that? Brown tent. Okay, look here. Last couple of uh, stencils, I did not film. It's, uh, as you can see, this a significant difference. What, I did, what I've done is this is the first color that I've pulled where this area in here, this is all new stenciling in here, as, as well as like all over. saying just stacks up 13 white uh, truly what it's supposed to look like. See the detail down in the, starting to come out. Color 14, tan.
15. Green. We don't want that. Nightmare. <laughs> well, we've got many colors to go. Color 16. Olive shade. Stencil 17, brown shade. This is only color or stencil 17 color, as you can see, is uh, a little translucent. Um, trying something, uh, I'm taking my own advice here. It's to don't skip. Okay. See how this, especially like subtle effects like down in here, I'm going to keep going. So yeah, 
This is very technical. It all also allows me to put ink very specifically in very specific regions. You got a big blot there. Is that okay? Uh, that's fine. That's why I haven't filmed this because it's very labor intensive, very time sensitive. It's very subtle. See those splotches in there? Very subtle. This is screen number 19. The, um, it's okay, I can do this in my sleep. At least I, <laughs> at least I hope so. Cheers. And here's after. Lime green, number 20. You can really see the color and the stonework down here starting to come out. Red umber tint. some red going in with all of that green. This is the color we're printing. Lime green tint. Tan shade, boom. color will show up in the trees and down here in the bricks. Stencil 24. Now we still have about 25 more colors to go. Color 25. Gray tent. Now you can see the sky.
partially that's a good name for that color. Yeah. Second. But there they are. Moving on, I know it looks like a snowy mess. It always does when I pull 27, it. stencil or stencil 27. Brown. There. Golden, calling, golden. Looks like a sunshiny mess. Orange umber. Stencil 30, tan tint. before in a second. Screen 32, sap green. <laughs> also notice that this is very thin. It's good. Now that I've wet the screen, I'm pulling this forward. That 
push lightly push it back and that gives a nice flood coat so I don't have to worry about the ink drying in the screen. Okay. See I ah. so if you oh yeah. Now you see what I'm talking about. It doesn't look as snowy in here. It looks right. more colors. I got 20 more colors to go. Wow. You know, so I just just trust in the process. Alright, here we are. 33 charcoal uh, with about a month of work in between 32 and 33. <laughs> but, uh, some more yep I know what I need to do stencil 34 char charcoal blue some color in it and I got my printer's lubricant white colors are going to be some white in here It may look white on the camera, but these are blue. All these little speckles and stuff of blue sky, even in the flowers here, and those are going to be covered up with pink, and there's going to be pinks and purples, and this is going to be a different color, and I still have uh, like 13 different colors to go, but this little highlight here on the, this is going to be a dark, and this is going to be darker. I've got two more light colors. It's been a long day. Two stencils and uh, two prints. This will be my second print today. Stencil 36, Ecru. The color right there. Kind of a, yeah, it's Ecru. Kind of a yellowish, greenish. This one just a little bit 
thinner because of the issues we were having last time. What? Here's the before. See the flowers there? Up here in the sky, it looks a little blue. Red shade. I've masked off several areas. I don't know if you can see this or not, but all this is masked off. Basically, this is areas that's not getting any ink. See, just laid that down. Red in here, red in the figures, red in where the red goes in here. Stencil 39. going to be printed over. It's obvious in here a little bit and up in here a little bit. You can see it in here but that's going to be printed over. 40 sky blue bluish color and we've got some sky going on as well as the blue in this area which these are going to be pink and whatnot but uh, yeah okay let me take you outside the, the door look at that this is outside the door of my studio look at that color Beautiful. It's also Christmas Eve. For whatever that's worth. <laughs> Pink number forty one. Pink. Now 
the sky looks a little bluer just because of that pink was taken away. This periwinkle is going to be covered up and you can see, I don't know if that's evident in there, but down here, yes, you see the little pieces of pink coming up? That's what we blocked out and now it's got periwinkle on it. Also down here, it's got a little more purpley hue. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going. 43, lavender gray. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see what it does. some more pinks to go on top of that. Let's see we have some of those in the tree as well. The pink's gonna be coming in on top. It's a silly color. It's a silly name for a color, but it's a beautiful color. Excuse me, there you go, it's your card. Uh, half a thing. So, let's see what happens. Adventures. So, let's keep there we are. There we go. <laughs> See what I tell you? It do make a difference. Well, shit. <laughs> Had I put the camera on, you would have seen me print 45 blue shade. That color. That color. That color. But, I'll show you what it looks like. Some blue in the flowers. In the sky, we're finished. Uh oh, excuse me. I'm making sure I'm recording this time. Forty six. Pink. Pink, pink, another pink. There's little bits of orange in this path over here. There's an orange dot there. Of course there's orange in here, but that's gonna be covered up. Little flicks of orange, some orange up here, and orange over in here. Okay, number 48, pink tint. right there look like just circles of dark pink and orange 
with whites in the centers. And you see those uh, That's it. 